I've been incredibly lucky. I've done some super pictures. I mean, Labyrinth was was 16 or 17 months of my life. Absolutely wonderful picture. And Jim Henson, although, you know, I mean, he was a children's director. He was a bloody clever guy and he had a wonderful team around him. Jim liked me for some reason or other. I got on very well with him. He, I, because I'd been cutting action movies and things like that, there were certain things I didn't like doing. I never liked what I called a trombone shot, which is going from a, a two shot pinging into one person. I'd rather bounce off them and go back because then you don't have that. You can use any cut at all. And, and, and he said, why don't you just jump in? I said, well, you've shot them on two cameras. You, you haven't shot it on two cameras, so they're not exactly the same. And I, th- I don't know whether he learned something there, but he was a television director. And I, I mean, I see films now, they just jump in and don't care about it. The one particular sequence in there, which was the most complicated for me, was David Bowie, terrible actor, great singer, but not a very good actor. And, and I, <laughs> well, at least I didn't think so. The, the okay. sequence when he goes, walks around and things. Well, that, I put it, when, when we'd had all this shot, it, it took me about two days to put it together. It wasn't sort of storyboarded or anything. I didn't really know how it was supposed to go together. And, and I don't, wasn't absolutely certain that, that um, you know, the director knew or the cameraman. Anyhow, I put it together and I can honestly say they never changed a frame. It was absolutely amazing. The, the I don't know what they call it, the upside down. It's, it's got it's, a name. It's the Asher sequence. It's Asher. The Asher. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. My, my memory's gone. I'm too old now. I'll, I'll back you up. Yeah, thank you. Well, my, my age, yeah. And uh, that, that, I think, made it. And then we went on to the wild things, which was really complicated because of all this stupid animals that were doing all these funny things. In those days, the editor stayed on right the way through. I was completely in charge of the whole picture, my whole crew. Not like today when you guys come on, you cut the picture and they get rid of you. And with Vernon, the bogger stench, which was all the farting and burping noises. He took his microphone, his recorder at home, and stuck it in the loo and did his business and farted. And they were the real ones that we used in the picture. We used to come in the day, so I've got some great ones that he did last night. And then the belching, we'd do that in the theatre. We, we'd all get together in the theatre. And I don't know if you try to have laughter, if you try to make laughter in the theatre, record it, or burping or anything like that, you get into, you, all, you, you can't stop laughing. And it was, that was great fun. I mean, I as a, as a picture editor was then working with a sound editor and creating these, it was a wonderful time he had. You don't get that now. I don't think so anyhow. I think unless you're doing... Uh, your, it's your picture and you're doing it completely, you know, you're directing it and you might be able to edit it and play with it and shoot the stuff or, or like a student film when they do everything themselves. A lot more creativity goes there. Good fun. <laughs>